Welcome back to Window on Thailand, the Anaman. I'm here still with Mr. Gulu Levani, and I'm at his gorgeous, beautiful home, which is docked right next to his boat. Mr. Gulu, thank you for your time again. You're welcome. I would like to ask you to introduce your house to us a little bit. Um, how big is this house? I mean, this, this place is really, really beautiful. This is was specially built for me because I love boats, and it's got 70 meter of mooring, so I can keep four or five of boats Oh, behind. right outside, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, the other villas have a 24 meter boat mooring behind it. This one's got 70, so as I said, I can keep the size of boats that you saw outside, four or five of them. Mm. So just quite often I have friends who come by boat and I have my parties, so right. I like to have, it's like having just a outside. big parking, yeah, it's like having a big, big parking, parking garage. So I have, because I'm a boat lover, right. my, many of my friends are boat lovers, so they come from other places mm -hmm. and keep the boats next door, just next to the villa. Because that is a pure luxury when you have a boat right behind your mm. villa. It's the best thing instead of spending half an hour, 45 minutes driving to a place. Within. So this is a two-story, five-bedroom villa. Yeah. And you're saying this is custom-made, so all the other villas that I saw outside... Yes, those is, are uh, also five-bedroom. Oh, okay. There's also five bedroom with a slightly different architecture. Okay. Also Thai style. This has got a lot more land attached to it. Whereas the other ones are six million dollars. This one is or ten million dollars fully furnished. Wow. So let's talk about the business outlook for this type of industry here. What do you expect to see? Uh, has the economy affected you in the past or Yes, after the 2008 financial crisis, we did see a bit slowdown mm -hmm. in offtake, but luckily we virtually sold out from the first two phases. We only got two villas left mm -hmm. and two apartments okay. and the penthouse, that's it. And what we're creating in the third phase three is a new kind of product that we don't have currently which would be smaller apartments, more affordable, mm -hmm. and managed by a hotel. So uh, the villas actually uh, accommodate um, uh, people who are more affluent, and yeah. then also you have uh, maybe perhaps a new group of people who come yeah, in yeah. who are more like the big middle class. What uh, we've victim. found is a lot of people after this crisis are far more cautious about how much they spend. Right. Whereas before the 2008 crisis, people didn't have to worry too much. Uh, to worry too much. So now there are still wealthy people around. Mm -hmm. In fact, in September, we had a, one of the fastest sales. Somebody came here to buy a yacht, and he saw the villa, and he bought a villa for six million dollars, and already Just like moved that. in. Just like that. Wow. So uh, when it's right, and he's it's already right. moved in. So he saw it, I think in August, by end of September, he's already moved in. So, so uh, how do you plan to attract these uh, new group of people to come in to be the buyers? What of we are your seeing is that phase? people who are fond of yachting, like this last buyer, just bought in September, he came here to buy a boat. A broker bought him to uh, see a boat which was on the water here in, in my marina. And he bought the boat, and he said, oh, I haven't seen these villas before. So he took them to the sales department, the salesman showed them around. And a week later, he bought that. So, wow. so it shows people who love boats, they like this unique kind of Lifestyle. concept. Right. Because they want to keep the boat right behind their home. Right. Now, this guy already had a home, another villa somewhere else. He sold that villa and decided to move in here. As I said to you, I have a villa in Amanpuri, but I prefer staying Stay here, here because I love having my boat next to me to go whenever <laughs> I want to go. Like we hadn't planned going on the boat, but we said, let's go on the boat. Right now. Uh, two minutes later, we were there. Right. So my captain is on call, he's always there with his crew. And so to me, that is the luxury that I want to have. It's like having a car in the garage, so you're going to drive when you want to drive. Uh, take, get in the car and 
go when you want to go. I like the same thing in the board. And this is the only development in Phuket, Royal Phuket Marine, there's the only development in Phuket that has that. So, so I'm proud you're of sharing, that. Us, sharing with us a one of a kind experience that you don't really see often. Yes, around it is in absolutely Thailand. one of a kind in Thailand. That's why this Royal Phuket Marina, Marina won so many awards mm -hmm. uh, as the first many first time features and uh, so I like to do something as I said this is my hobby and I like to do something which is different from what's already in the market. Mm. Well thank you Kulu for your time for today for um, sharing with us your beautiful villa and taking us out on the sailboat and talking to us about the business outlook as well as showing us Royal Forget Marina. My pleasure. And for our viewers out there I would like to say Please join us again next time on Window in Thailand, the Anaman series. I'm Abel saying goodbye for now. Sadiqa. Sadiqa.